Harvest life for me. Arr. Good morning, fellow builders. My name is N.T. the Pirate here. We met last week. We were looking for one of the greatest treasures of all. It was the gift of the Holy Spirit. And since I've invited Jesus into my life and received the Holy Spirit, I no longer steal ships anymore because something inside of me just won't let me. <laughs> something just feels wrong, you know? I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so today I'm still looking for one of the beautifulest, bestest things ever. And I'm really looking for a blessed life, you know? So what's going to bring a blessed life? Um, there's apparently a treasure somewhere hiding in this room that's going to bring the utmost bliss, something that's apparently called the Beatitudes. So fellow younger builders, if you call yourself young, um, can you look around the room and look for some treasure scrolls? There's eight of them, so please help me find them. Okay, so fellow younger builders, come up the front. So what does it say? It says, the Sermon on the Mount. One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up the mountainside and he sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. The Beatitudes, what does it say? God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. And God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. So, we have the final one. Yay! So, what do we do? We need to be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward that awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. That's from Matthew 5, 1 to 12. Thank you very much, young girl. So, what on earth can this treasure mean? What can it mean? So, it seems like it's a list of things of how we could be most blessed by God to have his best life for us. It seems completely opposite to what the world might seem is blessed. I suppose that's why they say that the kingdom of God is like the upside-down kingdom. God turns troubled situations around for our good and for his glory. So when we follow his will and his way, we get blessed far beyond our imagination. It may not look like we want it to. It may even look upside down. But God knows what's best for us. He knows what is blessed for us. His kingdom is worth building. Let's use this treasure to impact the world. Join me, young builders, out the back during the preach to unpack more about what these upside-down values look like. N.T. the Pirate, over and out. Arr.